Green algae is a widely available and abundant natural resource. It is farmed and produced as food, used as a biofuel, air filter, and a dietary supplement. While in its natural habitat, it contributes to over 50% of the world's oxygen levels, and it helps support marine life while promoting a healthier marine ecosystem. However, there are also many other types of algae that are equally harmful as they are beneficial to the environment. They are naturally occurring and are simultaneously damaging to our natural environment. Algal blooms are an example of this. They come in the form of an overgrowth of green algae. Algal blooms kill marine life, release toxic gas, and deplete oxygen. In 2018 alone, there have been over 50 cases worldwide of saltwater algal blooms. In China, algal blooms happen frequently, with one of the worst in history taking place in Qingdao, with over 20,000 tons collected. Can we find an alternative use for this algae? What if algae could be used as a viable structural material? Could this then guide a new architecture suitable for a world struggling to tackle the depletion of its primary resources? What if this long, fibrous material could somehow find its way in our structures and buildings to create a new design language? The proposal is an eco-village. For us, the location of this eco-village felt appropriate in China. As a country that is plagued by algal blooms yearly, the country has a hard time determining what to do with the excess algae. This particularly rings true in the province of Ningbo. Being in close proximity to the worst algae bloom event in Chinese history in Qingdao, the province also has a strong connection with green algae, as it is one of its primary exporters and producers. The existing land use of Baiyutun village is mostly taken up by cultivated farmland. A smaller percentage of developed land can be seen further north. Various factories are scattered in the outlying areas. The low and high tide dictates how the village uses its space. We wanted the eco-village to connect heavily with the existing fabric and culture of Baiyutun.